Today we are looking at the Omtec Solus Dual Source Gala Laser. This version has a 30 watt IR fiber source and a 20 watt blue diode source. It has a working area of 9.8 by 9.8 inches and a max height of 9.45 inches. Today we're testing a few materials and we're going to start with some 3 millimeter Baltic birch plywood. We'll set up the engrave to run the blue laser at 1000 millimeters a second and 60% power. We'll do two passes with crosshatch for a dark engrave with some dense depth to it. For the cut, we're going to run it at 100% power, 20 millimeters a second, and four passes to make sure we get through. This laser features a 16 megapixel camera, auto focusing, touch panel, and remote for flexible controls. And with its sliding cover of laser safe acrylic, you can safely use this laser without laser goggles, although it's still not a bad idea to wear them. It is compatible with Lightburn, but they also offer their own tech software for design and control. Next, we'll test out some uh, aluminum and steel cards. Uh, we're gonna switch over to the IR or red laser source. We're gonna run this job at a single pass, 1000 millimeters a second, 60% power and 30 kilohertz. Comes out very nice on both the black coated and the aluminum cards. The black coating just reveals the steel and the aluminum turns a nice brilliant white. Finally, let's try some three millimeter black acrylic. We'll set this job up using both laser sources. First, the engrave at 4,000 millimeters a second, 50% power and crosshatch. Then we'll do the cut using the blue diode source, 100% power, 20 millimeters a second and five passes. This combo gives a nice bright contrast and a fairly clean outer cut. We'll be doing more testing and have a full video out on this laser soon. Leave a comment with your questions about this laser and I'll try to cover that in the full video. Check out the description for more information and a link to find out more about the Omtech Solus.